Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Rudy, the MTB beginner, here to bring you guys a little bit more in-depth look at a product that I unboxed not too long ago. It is my Troy Lee stage helmet. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I was able to go out on a couple of bike rides, probably spent about mm, a total of six hours in this thing. Hot, sweaty, uh, the conditions were pretty good, but I still, me personally, I'm a hot and sweaty dude. That's just what this, that's just me, right? So first off, I did not take any of the sweated my ass off in it and day one I was able to uh, set it aside um, I left it out of the goggle bag put it back in the hotel room and uh, let it air out um, by the next morning it was air dry it did not stink um, I'm sure it's gonna take a few more rides than that um, I don't want to gross you guys out but I rode in it again and I didn't wash it um, put it back uh, in the hotel room let it dry it's been sitting now for probably five or six days and it doesn't stink there's no there's no smell to it I'm sure there's gonna take a lot more to that um, to make it stink uh, um, one of the key features that I, I, I did kind of point on to a little bit was the Fidlock the thing work it's money it's super easy to use um, it snaps into place you can undo it with one hand uh, it, it's this this is awesome I haven't worn as far as full face helmets go this is my first so I don't know about other ones so I can't really contest to them so but I really like this and if this can categorize as a downhill helmet with as light as it is I mean I'm not going super fast I'm not a pro downhill racer um, I don't think I'm gonna be crashing at mock anything I think this helmet is perfect for what I do um, on top of being uh, an, an all mountain helmet I guess you would call it I really like this thing. I like how it looks. I like the design. It pretty much matches my bike. Uh, I, I cannot tell you how happy I am with it. Oh. helmet you should go and pick something like this up what I want to do now is we're gonna go to the workbench here and we're gonna go over um, the features that the stage has so let's get to the bench okay here we go guys I'm gonna try to school you guys on what I know 
um, by reading the features of the Troy Lee stage helmet. All right, so starting with the poly light shell construction with fiber reinforcement. I don't know what fiber reinforcement is, but it's basically just their outer shell. It feels, it, it's got a matte condition. It's very, very nice and slick. Um, hopefully trees and branches and things like that don't get caught up on it. Um, it feels like it goes through the chin, chin guard, cheek guard. Um, so that's the outer construction. Um, next is the dual density EPS co-moded, co-moded, co-molded co with EPP um, combined to safely manage high and low impacts. All right, patent pending. So basically, if you can see, there's the blue here, right? That's the outer shell. And if you look here, the black, that is the EPS. It is a very dense material foam. I mean, it looks like foam that covers the entire shell um, that the outer shell touches basically, right? So inside of that, which basically is just where all this gray is. So this gray is going to be the EPP. It is a much softer... Moving along here, it does have the Fidlock system, okay? I love it, I love the Fidlock system. The first time I ever had uh, a helmet was actually a pair of goggles um, with the Fidlock system from playing paintball. They kinda, I seen that before I ever seen a mask, I'm uh, sorry, a helmet with the Fidlock, but I, it, it's very safe, it's easy to use. The nicest thing is that once you get close enough, the magnet kinda fi finds itself and pops it, pops it right into place. It's very, very easy to snap back up after you have the helmet off. Moving along here, um, it does have the uh, MIPS system, right? Got the, the you guys probably seen the little yellow sticker in the back. Notice the yellow on the inside. It does have MIPS. And I do have to mention that I never heard any extra noise from the MIPS moving around like others have had with other helmets, not just full face helmets, but nothing to worry about there multi-directional impact protection system that's what MIP stands for and that's there to help protect you from cranial damage right so next up so next up is this ecstatic delivers unmatched performance and comfort for the life of the product has 99 percent pure silver those little silver dots you can kind of see there and uh, a, a, a core fiber right inside that i think that's for for weaving anyways it's supposed to help you know keep the uh, antimicrobials away, uh, eliminates odors, regulates temperatures, eliminates static. So all of that combined um, with uh, some good cushioning, uh, very comfortable, very, very comfortable mask, or mask, very comfortable helmet, happy to have it. Um, next up that they talk about is the jaw pad, which are low profile. Um, as, low profile, as low profile as you want to go, but there are three different chin or cheek pads sizes. The ones that are in here are, sorry, um, 25 mil, they go to 35 and 15, right? So that's the sizes you have. And then the neck roll you can change as well. They're just, they're just snapped in there. You just unsnap them. You just kind of unsnap them and then snap the new ones in. This one's 25, the other one is smaller. It's a 15 mil. Uh, next up is the um, anodized aluminum rivet washers, right? So you see the little blue anodized washers here. 
they're here to help stiffen up these breakaway, yes, breakaway attachments. So these, this screw, this little wing nut here, and this screw are built so if you get in an accident and your, your visor gets caught, they're made to break away so that you don't have to try to purchase another visor. Hopefully it, it saves the visor from damage and then it just rips one of those off and then you replace it. Uh, Choi Lee was nice enough to send a pack of the um, three pieces of the attachments. So if you break one, you at least have one more replacement. Um, it does have 11 high flow intakes and 14 open core exhaust vents with deep max airflow integrating channels <laughs> anyways it's basically just all these all these flow vents kind of point towards the back of the helmet to help kind of relieve the the hot air as you're riding the nice thing here is, is if you look here there these are actually vents um, for the neck roll so whenever you get hot it'll still even roll down out of there that's that's pretty cool that should be really comfortable um did come with a straw yeah, did come with a drawstring bag does exceed all certifications down to the weight now um it says that for a a, a large extra large it's 190 grams it's about a you know 1.5 pounds this is a small extra small because i do have a tiny head and if you can see there if i can hold still long enough this one is actually 650 grams so it's a little bit lighter yet but if you have any questions comments concerns let me know in the comments i would sure appreciate it i would love to talk anything about this helmet i'm super happy and pleased with it so let's get back and close this video out all right guys i hope that some of that made sense i hope that you got some kind of entertainment value out of this crazy video i can't believe that i'm still doing this i really hope that you guys are enjoying watching these videos please give me the thumbs up like it subscribe to me hit the bell icon so you can get notified whenever i come out with new stuff i will sure appreciate it if you have any questions comments hit me down below i appreciate all that i would love to talk anything about this helmet again guys thanks for watching peace out youtube go ride your bike